Living in the fourth dimension means existing consciously in both time and space, but for me, it means having conversations that transcend the typical discourse. I want to take this moment to share something very personal with you. Over the past year and a half, I've been doing some healing and self-reflective work, and through this work, I've had the revelation that I identify as non-binary. With that said, I'll officially be changing my pronouns to they, them. I feel that this best represents the fluidity I feel in my gender expression and allows me to feel most authentic and true to the person I both know I am and still am discovering. In this first episode, I'm excited to share with you what this means to me and what it may look like for other people. I want to make it clear that I'm still learning and coming into myself, and I don't claim to be an expert or a spokesperson. I know this might be a new conversation for many, so I'm inviting my friend Alok, someone I trust to spend time on this platform. Alok is an author, performer, and an important voice within the non-binary community and beyond. Their work to create visibility, equality, and understanding has inspired me on my healing journey. We'll discuss identity at large, but also take the time to personally reflect on how I came into my truth so that we, like many others, are able to live our lives authentically. In just a minute, I'm going to share space with Alok and dive deeper into this conversation. More after this break. Hey everyone, as a listener of this podcast, you'll get $100 off your first month with Talkspace. To match with a licensed therapist today, go to Talkspace.com. Make sure to use the code 4D to get $100 off your first month and show your support for the show. That's 4D and Talkspace.com. Hi, Boo. Hi. (laughs) I am so excited to have you on here. Everyone, this is my really good friend, Alok, and this is a topic that is something that is really important for me to discuss because I identify as non-binary. And when I think of people who know so much about this topic, I immediately think of you. I just want to start off by saying congratulations. And I'm so proud of you. And I want to remind you of the story of how we met. Our mutual friend, Sam, somehow convinced you to join them to come to my poetry show in LA. And I'll never forget because your laughter like <laughs> punctuated everything. Totally. <laughs> like you were you were so emotional and evocative and I loved it and I felt your presence. And I was like, who is this feisty person? <laughs> and then you came up to me afterwards and you said, oh my gosh, is being non-binary when you are healed? And I remember being like so surprised Because what I experienced in that moment was Demi really understands what I'm saying. And so often when I'm performing and when I'm speaking, it goes over people's head. They don't really get it. But it felt like with you, you resonated. First of all, I'm so grateful that I got to witness your talent in that show because that show changed a lot for me. You know, when I went into the studio with Sam, we had our, Sam Smith, they were telling me about how they were identifying as non-binary. And I was curious and asking questions, but they said, you know, why don't you come to this poetry show? One of my good friends is performing and we can, you know, talk about it there and, and after. And if you have questions, you can ask them. So I did, and you're right. I laughed at so much but I also was so viscerally like (laughs) there was a visceral like reaction in in me that was screaming this resonates with you and it was the first time in so long that I've ever heard someone else speak my truth and then realize oh that's my truth too whereas like In 2018, when I overdosed, I feel like the reason why that happened was because I was ignoring my truth and I was suppressing who I really am in order to please stylists or team members or this or that or even fans that wanted me to be the sexy feminine pop star in the in the leotard and look a certain way. You know, I thought that was what I was supposed to be. And Now I just realize it's so much more important to live your truth than to ever suppress yourself because that's the type of stuff that happens when you do. My entire life growing 